Hello our young and adult followers. Today we're going to talk about the types of sentences. We mainly have four types of sentences. We have the simple sentence, the compound sentence, the complex sentence, and finally the compound complex sentence. In this video our main concern is the simple sentence. The simple sentence is the major component for all the other types of sentences. Simple sentences are four kinds. We have the declarative sentence, interrogative sentence, imperative sentence, and exclamatory sentence. A declarative sentence is extremely simple and easy. It's a statement. It's something that you say. So a sentence that tells something and it ends with a period is always a declarative sentence. So an example of a declarative sentence would be if I say, I love Mu Salah. Here I'm just stating something. I'm telling people and others something. It's the same if I say, I'm pretty. Here I'm just stating something that I believe about myself. Or if I say, he is helpful. An interrogative sentence is a question, and it's very simple to relate the word interrogative to interrogation because it's where you ask so many questions. So a sentence that asks a question and ends with a question mark is an interrogative sentence. So I may ask a question and say, how are you today? Or if I say, is this your pencil? Also if I ask a question such as, do you need any help? Those are all examples of interrogative sentences. An imperative sentence is very simple. It's simply a command. It starts with an action word and it ends with a period. An imperative sentence may appear in different forms, so it can appear in the form of an advice, an instruction, or an order. So if I say, sit down, this is an imperative sentence where I'm giving an order for someone to be seated. If I also use courtesy words such as please and say, please get me the book. There is an imperative sentence. And a final example may be if I say, kindly take care of yourself. And finally, let's talk about the most exciting type of sentences. It's the exclamatory sentence. And from the name you can tell that it's a sentence that expresses a very strong feeling or a surprise. Always remember that it ends with an exclamation mark. An important tip to share with you is that an exclamatory sentence most likely has an interjection. It's not a must, but we most likely have an interjection. And an interjection is the part of speech that demonstrates an emotion or a feeling of the author or the writer. And those are short words or phrases that can stand alone, such as wow, oh, oops, ouch, and a lot more. To learn more about interjections, please check out our parts of speech video. Examples of exclamatory sentence can be such as, Wow, that's amazing! Or, Oh, that touched my heart! Or, Oops, I didn't mean it! In all the previous sentences, I used interjections. However, I can also have an exclamatory sentence without using an interjection, such as when I say, What a great day! Take good care for today. If you like our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, follow us on Instagram and like our Facebook page. Thank you.